yo, 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 4G. <laughs> yeah, 4G here, uh, Game Fest. Just tried the Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City demo. In one word, well, two words can you describe it, action-packed. Literally, it's just insane. I mean, the beginning was really good. It felt like the old school Resident Evil environments, the way it was presented. Um, literally, the beginning intro is literally straight out Resident Evil 2. The start where the truck hits the police car and Claire and um, Leon escape, that's in there. And then um, they're only, only for Leon to be tr chased by the uh, Raku, the uh, umbrella uh, operatives are after them. And um, basically, if I could describe the gameplay, it's more of a combination of Left 4 Dead and SOCOM, but it really works really well. And the best thing about it, run and shoot. You can actually <laughs> run around and actually fire your gun at the same time. That is just a godsend in itself. <laughs> There's not even any option. You don't even have to push the button to run anymore. It's literally depending on how much you push the analog stick forward or back. You know, the, the gameplay innovations are what the series really needed. I feel this is a really good improvement. And the carp aspect does work and lends to the game really well. I mean, there's a class-based selection system. You have different classes of um, character with different abilities. And they literally have their own perks. Um, the one I chose, I chose the assault class, um, and had, which had a perk called... Actually, do you remember the name of the perk, dude? I'm trying to remember it. But basically, it gave... So, something awesome. <laughs> it's something awesome. Basically, it gave me extra, extra health boost and weapon power boost when I used it. And the uh, at one point it, some spec ops came along, spec ops soldiers trying to like clip situations, take out umbrella, and we had to face those, being as with the evil umbrella corporation themselves. And um, literally, combat with that was pretty tactical in a sense because you had to really think about cover a, a little bit. Well, not too much as I say because it's action packed, but um, with the operatives, literally, if you say they shot you enough, you bled out, which lure the zombies to you but it was sort of backwards and forwards system in that sense you had to try to lure the zombies to them as well I mean the lickers returned the hunters were back as well you know the classic enemies and it really is tactical you do have to watch each of us back sometimes because you could get pinned if you could get held by the zombies you can get held by the lickers tongues and you have to shoot the enemies to help them of course there's the whole uh, wiggle the uh, analog stick to try and stop the enemies from uh, killing you but of course you can back up your team out by shooting the uh, other enemies for them there really is a sort of team play element in there. I mean, try, I mean, in, in a sense, it did feel kind of easy, but it might have been only because it was a demo, because there was actually a respawn system as well, which is kind of strange for Resident Evil, really. But, you know, there was... It, was, it wasn't the classic kind of survival where you're used to, but it's survival in the sense that you've got to be really on, on your feet, you know, you have to take out these zombies before they hoard, literally hoard you. I mean, I died about three or four times probably in the demo. You know, it is wow. <laughs> it is a good game. It is not the classic Resident Evil. I'm not sure how the classic fans are going to portray it. I mean, being a classic fan myself, just environments and setting were impressive, and the gameplay improvements lend itself really to the game. I were really needed from really after Resident Evil 4, but you know, it follows the uh, Resident Evil 4 uh, school of thought. Uh, instead of the the classic uh, survival horror. It's 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 like uh, 4G said, you know. It's it's more about like run, running and shooting, and almost like uh, a lot of other zombie games out these days, where it's there's lots of them coming at you, and you have an assault rifle. Have fun, is the uh, general feel of the game. Is it still faithful to the original series, considering it seems to be a bit more like modern shooter? Well. I mean, in terms of the setting, yes, it was straight up Raccoon, it's straight up Raccoon City, literally, in the environments, reminded me exactly of the, the second game. You know, it was really, really well done in that sense. Literally, the environments were straight up from Resident Evil, but the whole aspect of the game, really, is the fact that you, kill, you can kill off the classic characters from Resident Evil, you know, like, you can kill Leon and kill some of the classic characters, and that might not go down well, but it's a spin-off, so, you know, it can sort of do what they want with it. But, you know, it's sort of kind of ironic, really, the way they're doing it. You know, it's a series 15th anniversary, and they go off fucking up the storyline. You know, it is kind of ironic, really, but, you know. But still, as I said, it's a spin-off, so, you know, it can, they can get away with that. So, I mean, overall? Overall, I'm quite impressed. I mean, I'll reserve judgment a bit because, you know, I haven't got... It was only, like, a five-minute demo, so, you know, I can't really take in much, but from what I played, it was really good. It's sort of a more modern reinvention of the series, and I think it works really well. I'm really looking forward to it early next year. Excellent. Excellent. It certainly sounds like it's uh, going to complement uh, really well alongside... Uh, 
Resident Evil Revelations, which, as I described earlier, was really... Uh, really, really, really quite impressive, wasn't it? it yeah. Even with the 3D turned off, it was just a beaut to look at. Oh, the graphics were definitely more in tune with, say, Resident Evil 5, yet... They were that good. They were yeah, that they, they good. Were, they, they, well, they were it was really nice the one thing we have been discussing was the fact that when you actually pull up and aim your gun at the, the gun models actually look really bad yeah but mind you it is still demo it's really still demo so they've got time to uh, work on that so um yeah obviously with these two games uh these two games yeah. coming out, yeah. Resident yeah. Evil's looking for the reboot it yeah. deserves. I mean, it's it's sort of compliment, you know. One's a classic sort of gameplay style. The other one mm. is a more modern reinvention. But I mean, we're <laughs> speaking about the graphics earlier. That brings me to some more points about um, the Raccoon City demo, um, because <laughs> you can't rave about this enough, can you? I mean, because <laughs> now these are actually negative points. I mean, the graphics were quite good, but they're a bit sketchy. But again, early days, really, I think. And the loading times, I mean, uh, all Ross will uh, vouch for this as well. They were it was quite bad. It's about a minute. A little minute. longer than, than they probably should have been. It was about a minute. Uh. Seriously, the loading, time... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Seriously, loading times were about a minute long. Probably longer. I mean, although I think Microsoft have uh, some rules where you're not allowed to have a loading screen longer than 60 seconds. So that's Well, come on. It, it's, not, it's not Duke Nukem loading screen. <laughs> I was going to mention it was on par. It was on par. It was on par. Yeah, it was actually that bad. Okay, so can you make a roll up? During yes, the you probably could. Yeah, oh, pretty much. Yeah. Can actually make we a roll. We'll, we'll have to, to um, if we, if we do if somebody actually does buy a copy of this game and we do review yeah, it I'll maybe in the future, then Definitely. maybe we'll, that's something we'll she'll have to test. We we'll, shall yeah. have to test. The, we will. The, the work in progress loading time tester. How many roll ups can Matt make uh, oh. <laughs> within the time it takes for the game to load? To, to lower the tone uh, again. Uh, <laughs> how could you? I know, I totally. Um, yeah, like the character 4G was playing. Uh, yeah, they they they, they weren't the commandos were wearing like cat suits. Yeah, the outfit. And um, the camo was like you know, at times crawling up the uh, the, the character's asses, especially when um, his character actually got knocked down. The uh, Raccoon City is not short on fan service. Because um, you are a fan of fan service. Fan service. Fan service! Fan service! Well, um, it, yeah, the, the camera was like, and because the lighting as well, it complemented the, the shape. Oh dear. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> which was a little distracting, to say the least, but it's Capcom. What, what are you going to do? Uh, like, true enough. Fan service is kind of their thing. 